Howdy all, lovely to see you all again. Today in this solo builder we're going to be looking at some sus2 chords and we're just going to put a bunch of them on top of each other. Kind of like a patty cakey kind of jengery situation. If that helps you picture it. Anyway, let's take a look at the lick. Okay, so it's a pretty attractive lick. Um, what I'm dealing with is basically I'm starting off with an F sus2 chord. You might have seen these in uh, the police's message in a bottle uh, of many places to look. Um, I want to start off, we'll just do a single note version of each sort of arpeggio or chord shape and we'll join them together within the lick. So I'm starting off on an F, I'm playing first fret of the sixth, third fret of the fifth, and then fifth fret of the fourth string. Okay, then I want to jump up to the C note, I'm going to do a sus2 from there. So we're going to go from the C note, 3rd fret of the 5th, 5th fret of the 4th, and then 7th fret of the 3rd. Okay, then I jump to the G, which is on the 4th string now. I'm going to play 5 of the 4th, 7 of the 3rd, and due to the interval of the B string and how much that always screws us over when we're doing scales, I'm going to play 10th fret of the 2nd string. So we've got... F sus2, C sus2, G sus2, and then I'm going to end on a D sus2 from 7th fret of the 3rd string. So I'm going to play 7 of the 3rd, 10 of the 2nd, and 12 of the 1st. So we've gone. Now what I'm going to do to make it a little bit more uh, attractive and sassy is I'm just going to double pick every note. I've sort of heard some stuff like this in Mastodon and a bit of Animals as Leaders as well. Just I think it's a very cool effect. So we're just going to pick each note twice. Okay, then as soon as I hit the high E note on the 12th fret of the first string, I'm going to start making my way through those arpeggios backwards. So I'm going to play 12 of the first, 10 of the second, 7 of the third. Obviously the double notes and then reverse down the next shape, which was playing 10 of the second, 7 of the third, 5 of the fourth. And then I go from... 7 of the 3rd, 5 of the 4th, and 3 of the 5th. And then we finish back on the F sus2. From the, uh, the sus2 or the ninth note, here I'm playing 5 of the 4th, 3 of the 5th, and 1st of the 6th. So let's try doing an ascend and a descend of that idea. And then just add uh, a little bit more extents to the scale, just take it on a larger adventure. I bought everything up a minor third. So what we're gonna do now is work from a G sharp sus2 chord. So we're gonna start from four of the sixth string and work through that shape. It's gonna go four, six, eight as we're working down the strings. Then I jump to D sharp on the fifth string. I'm gonna play the six, the eight, and the 10. Then I jump to the fourth string. I'm gonna play eight, 10, then 11. And then I'm going to jump to the third string and play 10, 13, and then to 15. Now, after I've re reversed that idea, so on and so forth, we want to do the same idea from a B sus2 and then end on a D sus2 as well. So we're going to do that whole ascending pattern four times. And at the end of it, I just add in um, a sus2 on the F from 8th fret of the 5th string. So that chord there is playing 8 of the 5th, um, what have I got here, 10 of the 4th, and then 12 of the 3rd. So now that we've got a rough idea of what the first one's doing, and we're just moving that up a minor 3rd each time, I'm going to play the whole exercise, and then we'll do it again slower with some tabs, and then I'll leave you to your own devices. So let's try it slowly from the top. third over a minor third to the B sus2 then over to D on 10th fret and then ending on the F sus2 chord. Let's try that again, nice and close and slow with some tabs.
And that was my SUS2 solo builder. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'll catch you real soon.